10 most dangerous dinosaurs in the world. As a general rule, you wouldn't want to cross paths with any of the dinosaurs that lived in our planets many centuries ago. But the fact remains that some species were much more dangerous than others. Let's travel back in time and talk about some of the most dangerous animals to roam the planet. It's a real blessing that these guys have ceased to exist, otherwise human survival would have been impossible. These creatures spelled nothing but doom. From the Stegosaurus to the Moposaurus to the Utah Raptor, we wouldn't want to come face to face with these baddies. And here are the top 10 most dangerous dinosaurs in the world. Let's go. 10. Sinocyoptrix The name means Chinese reptilian wing. This was the first dinosaur evidenced to have wings. They had furry coats of feathers, they had long tails and short arms, and were close relatives to the Compsognathus. They lived in the northeastern part of China during the Cretaceous period and were the first dinosaurs to be discovered in the Yixin Formation. Many aspects of their biology are illustrated with the help of well-preserved fossils. The longest specimen ever found is about 1.7 meters, but don't be fooled by its size. These creatures were extremely agile and used to hunt in large packs, and a swarm of these reptiles were able to take down giants. And scientists believe it even hunted down venomous mammals of its era. 9. Leopleurodon The name means smooth-sided teeth, and they were marine carnivorous reptiles, the apex predators of its era. They belonged to the family of Phylosauridae and lived during the Middle Jurassic period and could grow to enormous lengths of 25 meters. Their fossils were found mostly in England and France, and one of the species is known to have existed somewhere in Russia. They had four strong limbs which indicated them to be really powerful swimmers. A study shows that this body structure would provide excellent acceleration if not top speed. 8. Ankylosaurus Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. They belong to the family of Ankylosauridae and are classified as reptilians. They could grow in length till about 9 meters and its fossils were found in North America. The Ankylosaurus sounds like a complete monster, and we're sure that its appearance alone scared off more than enough dinosaurs to keep it safe. It weighed 8 metric tons, had 4 horns on its head, its entire body was protected by armored plates, and various bones in its body were fused together to give it even more strength. On top of its tank-like appearance, it also had a massive club tail and when swung with enough force, it could easily shatter the leg of an approaching predator or cause some massive damage to its skull. 7. Sarcosuchus Sarcosuchus means fresh crocodile. They happen to be very distant relatives of crocodiles and are said to have lived around 112 million years ago. These are perhaps the biggest crocodiles to have ever lived, with their fossils found in Africa. They are classified as Reptilia and belong to the family Phylodesauridae. They are believed to have been as long as a city bus, which is well over 12 meters, and they weighed in at over 8 tons. The mere skull was the size of a fully grown male human. One bite and you disappear. 6. Allosaurus These guys lived during the late Jurassic period, around 155 million years ago. The name means different lizard. In plain, simple words, those are the equivalent of modern-day crocodiles. It is said to have had a large skull with several very sharp teeth and averaged around 29 feet in length. Some studies suggest they could reach the length of 40 feet and an estimated weight of around 2.3 metric tons. Unlike in about 10 years, Sarcosuchus seems to have kept growing and growing at a steady rate throughout its lifetime. As a result, the largest, most super crocs reached lengths of up to 40 feet from head to tail, compared to about 25 feet max for the biggest croc alive today, the saltwater croc. 
5. Troodon These happen to be small dinosaurs resembling a bird and are said to have lived during the late Cretaceous period. Their fossils were first discovered in 1855 in North America. More species were discovered in Texas, New Mexico, and Wyoming. The name means wounding tooth. They are said to have been around 2.5 meters in length on average and could weigh over 50 kilograms. Like we said, they were small. Not only were the eyes of the Trigoon larger than normal, but they were set toward the front rather than the side of this dinosaur's face, an indication that Tridoon possessed advanced binocular vision, with which it could target small skittering prey. Fun fact, the Tridoon had the biggest brain amongst all the dinosaurs of the era, and that must have meant something in the wild, where every day is a fight for survival of the fittest and the most intelligent ones. 4. Kronosaurus The name means Lizard of Kronos. They were named after the Greek leader called Kronos, and they had a short neck. Interestingly, these are closely related to the previously discussed Leopleurodon. No wonder both cousins are on the list. It reached the length of 13 meters, but would usually average around 9 or 10 meters. They were equipped with large teeth, exceeding the length of 7 centimeters, and the largest of its teeth reached a length of 30 centimeters. These fossils were discovered from Australia and also in Colombia. Although Kronosaurus fossils have only been identified in Australia and Colombia, the extreme distance between these two countries points to the possibility of worldwide distribution. Despite their massive size and known ability to be good hunters, the Kronosaurus went extinct at the hands of better adapted sharks and by the emergence of an even more vicious family of dinosaur, known as Mosasaurs. 3. Africolius Fagilimus The name literally means biconcave. These particular dinosaurs were longest known vertebrates, with lengths averaging around 40 to 60 meters. They weighed in on 122 metric tons. Their fossil remains were lost at some point, which is why extensive studies could not be carried out on these guys, although Jurassic Park gives a pretty nice idea of what they might have looked like. Modern-day paleontologists believe that huge size of Amphicolius was aimed to improve efficiency of digestion. Amphicolius had very long digestive system designed to store food prolonged periods of time and ensure survival on a plant-based diet with low energy content. 2. Velociraptor I'm sure you remember these guys from the movie Jurassic Park, and that movie gives a great insight into how big of a nuisance they could prove to be. The name means Swift Caesar, and they were said to have lived over 75 to 71 million years ago around China and Mongolia. They could weigh up to 15 kilograms and would grow in length up to 2 meters. Though they might seem potentially harmless considering their size and weight, but they would usually attack in herds, and that's where the problem starts. Besides, they are really fast with a top speed of about 40 miles an hour. While the Velociraptor was featherless in the movies, paleontologists discovered quill knobs on a well-preserved Velociraptor forearm from Mongolia in 2007, indicating the dinosaur had feathers. Despite having feathers, however, the arms of the Velociraptor were too short to allow them to fly or even glide. Thank you, nature, for that. Imagine these things flying around in herds. Even the T-Rex wouldn't have wanted to mess around with one of these in that case. 1. Tyrannosaurus Rex I am sure you guys expected the T-Rex to make it to the top. The name means Tyrant Lizard. The fossils suggest that these guys used to live in western North America some 67 million years ago. They could grow over 12 meters in length and would usually weigh in at over 6 metric tons. They had small arms and long tails. Although an apex predator of its era, it still looks pretty clumsy to us modern-day humans considering the short length of its arms. There is also strong debate about whether Tyrannosaurus rex was a predator or a scavenger. 
It had small arms, which would have made it hard to grip prey, suggesting it may have been a scavenger. On the other hand, evidence in favor of it being a predator includes its forward-pointing eyes, which gave better death perception and make it easier to hunt.